As you guys can see here, today is a Poshmark package comparison video. If you're new to my channel, this is one of the first series I ever started on my channel. As a new Poshmark seller, I got a notification that I had made a sale and it said within, well, here, I'll just pull it up my phone for one of the sales I just made today. So in the email that Poshmark sends you when you make a sale, it says, Pack your items nicely with a personal thank you note for your buyer. And as a new seller, I was like, nicely? What does that mean? And with a thank you note, what do people write on their thank you notes? So I ordered a bunch of packages so I could open them up and see how other people ship their items. And then I turned that into a video series. This is now the eighth video I've done. And to, in today's video, I have five packages that I purchased from different Poshmark sellers that I'm gonna open and show you how these five different people package their items. So this is the first package I'm gonna open. This seller packaged it in a medium flat rate box. You can get free boxes from USPS that work for shipping on Poshmark. If you aren't sure how to do that, I do have a video on how to do that and I will link it in a pinned comment down below. And it's also in my playlist of packaging videos. So let's open this up and see how this seller packaged their sale. All right, so when we open it up, you can see that she has bubble wrapped the item. It's in like a, a bubble wrap envelope that seals at the top. Nothing else in here. Then once you pull out the item, all right, so it is the item folded up inside of a bubble wrap envelope and no thank you note on this one. And as I say in all my videos, I in these videos I'm not trying to give my opinions on what is good and what is bad, just showing you what people send, whether they send a thank you note or not, and if they include tissue paper or bubble wrap in this case. So just so you can see the variety of what people do and you can decide for yourself whatever you want to do. As long as the item comes in the condition I ordered it in, I'm happy, which this one did, it's brand new, so. Next package. Again, this one is in a medium flat rate box. I ship a lot of my sales in medium flat rate boxes. So I do similarly to these two sellers. This seller has some air pouches on the top of theirs to fill in the extra space. Then they have tissue papers and a little thank you sticker on the item. Now you guys can see it. Inside is the dress that I ordered. Looks like nothing else in there. And again, this time we had, again, no thank you note. It was wrapped in tissue paper with a little thank you sticker and then had some air pouches to fill in the extra space. Next up, this is the 1095 package. I will confirm. Yes, I also use this one a lot, so that's how I knew. Right here it says it is the 1095. All right, let's see what it looks like. Okay, so she has like a whole plastic bag covering this that she then rolled up and taped shut. Then inside we have an envelope and tissue paper that is wrapped and taped around the purchase. And then inside we have the dress pants that I bought for my husband. So let's see what she wrote inside of the thank you note that she included. So it says, happy holidays. Dear Amber, thank you so much for poshing with me. I hope you love the chinos. Please posh with me again. And then it has her closet name. Feel free to comment down below with um, which of these packages you guys like and maybe what your opinion is on packaging so that other people who are new or who are just learning or interested can see other people's opinions. All right, we have two more sales and these are both in bags. So first, the next one is in a Tyvek envelope. T-Y-V-E-K is how you spell that. This is also a package you can get for free on the USPS website. 
All right, so you can see in there. So she has wrapped it in bubble wrap and the note says, thank you for your purchase, stay happy and healthy. <laughs> and it says, sit out June 25th, which tells you how long these packages have been sitting and waiting for this video. Basically, I just do a video and then anything I order until the next video just sits in a spot in my inventory room until I record another one. So clearly I haven't recorded one since at least June. Anyways, so bubble wrap on the outside, a little sticky note with a thank you on it, and then my item on the inside. So we have one package left. It came in this black with silver stars poly mailer. Um, this one did come from somebody I know, so she probably has some idea it might be in this video. And if you guys are interested in poly mailers, those you can buy on Amazon. If you just type in poly mailer into Google, you can find a bunch of websites that sell poly mailers. Um, unlike the USPS supplies, they aren't free, but they do create a little bit of difference between your packages and others if you want to do that. All right, let's see what how she packaged her sale. Okay, so she put a little bit of paper around them. And that is it I think so it looks like no thank you note we just have the three items that I ordered this will probably be on me in an upcoming video a nice green sweater I love this color and if you guys have noticed I really like sweaters so hopefully this video gave you guys some ideas of how other people package maybe it made you feel better about your packaging if you want to watch more videos I will link my playlist down below and I'll also put a couple of videos here of other package comparison videos and you can go and watch them and see how more people package. If you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I make videos about Poshmark and selling on Poshmark. And at some point this year, I wanna also add in some eBay content. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned because I'll have a new video out soon.